changed people's perception of a song that is actually a banger. And all the hate is coming because of the whole lunch lease situation and Dan TDM. That's it. If those two things never happened, I wouldn't be getting this much hate and instead people would be loving the song. Yes, bro. The tweet from two weeks ago about how Lunchly is a literally dog food and probably shouldn't be fed to children is the reason everyone hates your song. And it absolutely has nothing to do with the fact that the song is genuinely offensive to the ears. How someone with so much money and seemingly so much going for them can let one single tweet affect them this much is honestly impressive. And honestly, boys, when I first started looking into this situation i expected this to be a big time beef i expected it to be like the logan paul and dylan danis beef where they were both constantly tweeting at each other feeding into the situation but that's not what's going on here at all in fact this just might be the most one-sided beef i've ever seen so all of this started back on september 16th when mr beast logan paul and ksi would launch their new product lunchly lunchly versus lunchables with lunchly you get double the amount of liquid prime has no sugar added more more electrolytes and more B vitamins. Crunch bar. Whoa. Feastables crunch yeah! bar. Which is supposed to be a competitor to the very popular snack that we have all eaten as kids, Lunchables. And this absolutely threw the internet for a frenzy. And honestly, I was pretty surprised at just how mad people were at this new product, but I understood it at the same time. Although Lunchly is likely technically healthier for children than Lunchables, it's still complete garbage that they're attempting to feed kids. In fact, if you actually look into what you're feeding kids with Lunchly and look into the nutrition facts, you'll realize it's almost just as bad as a Lunchable. Each one of these Lunchly boxes is higher in fat than protein, which okay, I guess each one of them does have a cheese product in the box. So you could just argue that it's the cheese making the fat so high. But while we're on the topic of cheese, since they decided to use real cheese in these Lunchables, it wouldn't take long before people started finding more Hold on their cheese. I open up my lunchy, right? And I look, and there's mold. I'm not eating this. Mr. Beast, what did you do? This is terrible. And this has been an issue since the Lunchables dropped only a month ago. So it's not like these are old boxes of Lunchlies that shouldn't be being sold. Some of these have expiration dates of December, dates we haven't even hit yet, and they're seeing mold on their cheese. So you can see why people got so upset when they announced this product. They made a slightly better version of an already shit product, threw in a fucking Prime bottle, and put their names on it. And they're fucking ecstatic to show this to the world i also think people are confused about what the product is they're like wait so it's just prime and feastables in a lunchables no mm. no it's prime and feastables in compete a in a lunch <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's what it is. And of course they are. They know they're going to make millions of dollars off this shit because kids are going to buy it. When kids walk into the store and they see Lunchly or Lunchables, they're very obviously going to pick the Lunchly. They are using their name and likeness to sell a product to children that for the most part is still complete shit. And that's why people are upset. And that's where we would see the start of what I guess you could call beef. Because a YouTuber that goes by the name of Dan TDM would tweet this out. What happened to YouTubers, man? I can't not say anything anymore. This is selling stuff for the sake of making money. Simple. How does this benefit their fans? This is selling crap to kids who don't know better than to trust the people who are selling to them. Do better. And I mean, shit, he's right. They're gonna act like they made Lunchly healthier to benefit the children, but in reality, they just did it so they had a selling point. If they just came out with a Lunchables that was just as unhealthy as the original one, they would have no selling point. They're not doing this to benefit anyone but themselves so dan is really right in his tweet but this really pissed off ksi as soon as he saw this tweet from dan he knew he needed to come back with an absolute banger so him and his big ass forehead started brainstorming ideas of how he's gonna respond to dan and this is what he came back with he replied with some pictures of toys that dan has previously sold to his audience and says looks like crap to me which if you want to argue that dan's toys
toys are also crap, just like Lunchly. I guess you can do that. Yellow guy with hands up emoji. I really have no argument against that, as these toys probably are crap. But the issue here is KSI has also sold crappy toys to his audience. In fact, one of the companies is the same exact one that Dan worked with. So it really doesn't make sense for you to say, well, wait a second, you're also selling crap to your fans because you sold that same crap to your fans, KSI. So if you want to say his toys are shit, go for it. But you yourself can't use that as an argument against him. Not to mention, although these toys might be shitty quality, it's something that Dan's fans could have bought and held on to for a long time, if not forever. Something that they can cherish because they know that they supported one of their favorite creators and they can constantly look at this item. So to say that it's crap is an opinion, but we can't say that about Lunchly. Lunchly is by fact bullshit, crappy food that you're trying to feed to children. And you'd think considering you have the biggest fucking head I've ever seen that you would have thought about this before trying to make this comparison. But KSI wasn't done there. He would come back with yet another tweet, but, 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 but he was talking about food, JJ. He was sponsored, then promoted and made a whole video on Munchpack, a monthly sub box full of food and candy to his Minecraft audience full of kids. Now what? And at base level, it might seem like KSI finally had a good comeback here until you realize that this screenshot came from a video from nine fucking years ago. And if we're allowed to use videos from our past to show who the worst person is in this situation, I have a pretty interesting video to show you of Logan Paul. Um, I really hate to say this. I think there's someone hanging right there. And you might be wondering, Slacken, what the fuck does Logan Paul have to do with this? Well, not only is Logan Paul connected to the whole Lunchly thing, but he would actually join in on the Twitter conversation right after KSI. I'll tell you what happened to YouTubers. We spent our lives creating content and building our brands. Now we want to build businesses. You don't say anything when Lunchables faces bans for allegedly containing lead, but when we create a better version, you're upset. Then don't eat it. Obviously, we're not going to eat it, you fucking troglodytes. The issue is, kids are. Not to mention, since he wants to talk about lead, back in April of 2024, which was only about four or five months ago, there was actually eight different forever chemicals found within one single can of Prime. And considering there's literally a lawsuit going on right now because of it, it's pretty weird that Logan Paul has the audacity to bring up someone else's lead problems and their product when he can't even get it figured out himself. What's really funny about Logan's tweet is he actually turned off replies so the only people that were allowed to reply to what he said were people that were gonna suck him off and obviously nobody is down there talking about how prime also has a lead problem because the only people that are allowed to reply to the tweet are his friends i swear ever since dylan danis proved that his wife was a fucking 304 and that she slept with the entire state of california he's only had his replies turned off bro's not trying to hear what we have to say but logan paul wouldn't stop there you really can't believe any anything Logan says because even if he is wrong, he's just going to turn off his replies on Twitter, ignore all the people that are telling him he's wrong, and he's going to start spreading stuff that makes him look correct. And that's exactly what he did in this situation. So when replying to Dan TDM, he turned off his replies. So again, only people who are following him could reply to his tweet replying to Dan, which that right there just shows how much of a bitch Logan is because how are you going to reply to someone's tweet and then turn off your own replies? But either way, that's exactly what he did. So people then started using the community notes to reply to Logan. So under Logan's reply to Dan, the community note says, Prime Hydration was filed against for including lead on three separate occasions, with the third being on March 24th of 2024, which is basically what I just told you guys. So Logan's reply to this would be to show an article about how Lunchables also had lead in their food, which really doesn't make sense because we all already know that. That's not new information to anybody. And that doesn't really prove that Prime doesn't have lead in it. If anything, you're kind of doubling down on the fact that it does because you didn't argue against it here. You're just trying to say, oh, well, Lunchables has it too. Like, okay, bro. Logan would then show a video of some sort of metal detector looking thing and said, we spent a lot of money to put all meals through x-ray and metal detection to ensure no foreign materials are in Lunchly. But the community notes claim otherwise. They say, Logan Paul is insinuating that a metal detector detects lead 
lead and heavy metal contamination in food. This is incorrect. A metal detector in a food establishment is used to detect large pieces of metal or other foreign material contaminants in the product. Now, whether that is true or not, honestly, I don't know. But considering Logan Paul has lied so many times, I'm way more willing to believe the community notes over Logan Paul. And that's really fucking sad if you think about it. Bro is a YouTuber with millions of subscribers. He has millions of dollars. He owns a company or is at least the CEO of a company that is worth millions. And he has tarnished his reputation so much that I would rather believe the community notes over what Logan says. And I feel like that's the case for a lot of people. And according to Dr. Mike on YouTube, the community notes were actually right in this situation. I just saw someone ask about heavy metal contamination and Logan responded with a video of an x-ray machine checking for foreign materials. That checks for stray objects accidentally getting into the meals, not heavy metal contaminations like we discussed earlier with Lunchables and lead. Either Logan is lying right here to make himself look better or he's severely misinformed. Then a sports medicine doctor with 50,000 followers on Twitter would reply to one of Logan's tweets about Lunchly and he said sodium getting rebranded as electrolytes will be taught in marketing textbooks one day. And then Logan replies and says crazy how even a sports medicine doctor can't tell the difference between sodium and potassium. The reference 400 milligrams of electrolytes is the potassium in prime. You idiot. Now Logan Paul calling someone else an idiot is definitely an interesting choice especially considering if you look at the picture he shared of a prime bottle if you add together the potassium and the sodium that would actually equal out to 405 milligrams of electrolytes not 400. So again calling someone else an idiot Logan when you yourself are an idiot is crazy. Considering Logan has a past of looking like a fucking goofy goober on the internet you'd think he had like a PR team or some sort of mentor someone he can talk to before he comes out and just starts acting a fool on Twitter or on YouTube but obviously he doesn't and after calling the Twitter doctor an idiot even though Logan himself was also wrong about the electrolyte thing he would then go and start arguing with the fucking community notes for hours about the electrolytes that are in his prime bottles and what makes that so much funnier is that a few weeks after this whole thing happened his wife actually gave birth to his very first child which means while he's fucking at home arguing with some random idiot on the community notes thing his fucking wife was in labor about to give birth he was about to become a dad for the first time and bro is sitting on twitter arguing with the community notes i just can't make this shit up logan paul is not a real person he has every reason in the world right now to not give a fuck about our feelings his prime company is doing incredible he's about to have his first child he just got married not that long ago he's a fucking multi-millionaire i'm pretty sure he's worth over a hundred million dollars and yet he still for some reason cares about what people think so much so that he has his replies to turned off on Twitter and he's arguing with the community notes. Logan Paul is truly a child in a grown man's body. Mr. Beast would also give his own opinion on all of this. Lunchable sells hundreds of millions of units and countless people eat it. Our goal is to give people a better for you alternative to it. Our turkey meal for example is 80 less calories, 60% less sugar, more electrolytes, we use real cheese, they use cheese products, they can't call it cheese, higher quality meat, etc. Obviously eating fresh chicken and broccoli is healthier but if someone is going to eat a pre-made meal like this which millions of people do through lunchables then i think giving them a higher quality version at roughly the same price is a net good in my opinion and why we launched lunchly honestly i'm starting to get pretty fucking annoyed at just how fake mr beast is every single thing he does is to make money yet he acts like it isn't even forgetting about the whole chris tyson thing for a second mr beast has already been exposed for faking some of his gifts giveaways. Not to mention, he only really does the giveaways in the first place, again, to make money. He's not doing that shit and losing money. And then obviously we have this whole Lunchly thing where he's trying to act like what he's doing is making a better alternative to Lunchly to benefit people's health. When in reality, that's not true. He's making a slightly better version of an already garbage product, like I said earlier in the video, and advertising it as healthier. When in reality, it's 
is really not. In fact, Lunchly, a lunch product made for children, does it even pass the standards set by the USDA for school lunches? The USDA caloric guidelines say that a lunch meal for kids K through eight should contain around 625 calories. Lunchly turkey contains only 230 calories, which would mean a kid would need to eat about 2.7 portions to consume enough calories. And if they did that, they'd get nearly 1300 milligrams of sodium which is also significantly over the USDA standards. So they'd be either under eating calories or overeating sodium. In fact, it doesn't even get close. Mr. Beast has a net worth of over 500 million, and there's a good chance that it's actually over a billion. If he wanted to make an actual healthy version of Lunchables, he would have, but that's not what they did. They did the absolute bare minimum possible in order to call this an healthier alternative. And although after the initial Dan TDM tweet, both Mr. Beast and Dan TDM would stop tweeting and become completely silent on the situation, Logan Paul and KSI would not. So after being quiet for about five days, KSI would then drop his response video to the situation. <laughs> of the reddit is just sucking my dick and 95 percent of the reddit is calling jj a corporate sellout okay i'm a corporate sellout but you know ryan trehan is fine uh phase dog is fine the sidemen are fine even though i'm in the sidemen but as soon <laughs> as i have a company with jimmy and logan paul sell out you all fucking sell out <laughs> And I think for a lot of us, this was the first time we've seen a KSI video in years. And holy shit, is he insufferable. Just from watching the video, you truly would have no clue that this is a 31-year-old man. And in this video, he really would add nothing to the situation, mostly just repeating what he already said on Twitter. But he would say this. Well, I think it says a lot when Launchables made, I think it was last year, about 1.8 billion 1.8 billion so let's not get it twisted there's people buying lunchables a lot of people buying lunchables and you know what we thought lunchables we can better that we can make a better product that people can also afford and be happy to give to their kids i'm sure parents are fucking ecstatic to give their kids moldy shredded cheese i was shooting a video comparing lunchly to lunchables and i opened the first package which was supposed to be good until december 8th 2024 and we just got this one this was fresh from the store this morning um and there is a ton of mold in there i'm just going to dig into it just to see oh yeah okay that is a ton of mold. This is really dangerous. These dudes are actually pathetic. Instead of actually making a healthy, lunchable alternative, they'd rather make a load of bullshit, call you and me haters for calling them out, and then fake laugh their way to the fucking bank. The next day, KSI would drop this tweet. This whole Dan TDM and Lunchly beef really shows that I'm in the thick of it. Out October 4th, pre-save, link below. So now an entire week after the initial tweet, he's still using Dan TDM's name to attempt to promote his new song. On the very same day, Logan Paul would then drop his response video to the situation. That's crazy. On a channel that he hasn't made a full video on in two years. So now within a week, one single tweet from Dan TDM has produced I don't know how many tweets and two full length YouTube videos. And it would only get worse from here. So about a month ago, a big YouTuber by the name of Marquise Brown Lee would get into a bit of controversy for making a wallpaper app that costs money. And no joke, one day after tweeting about Dan TDM to promote his new song, KSI would use the Marquise Brown Lee situation to yet again talk about Dan TDM. What happened to YouTubers, man? I can't not say anything anymore. This is selling stuff for the sake of making money. Simple. How does this benefit their fans? This is selling 
selling crap to kids who don't know better than to trust the people who are selling to them. Do better. Some dumbass YouTuber said the same exact thing to me the other day. Rather than complaining, crying, and trying to cancel a YouTuber for creating a product, here's an idea. If you don't want such like a product, just don't buy it. Simple. Out of all of the tweets that KSI made, this might have managed to be the stupidest one for multiple reasons. The main reason being is this is actually a free app for most people. So our first priority is we want to make sure the free experience of the app is great. It's got to be way better. The $50 yearly subscription is an option if you want all of the wallpapers on the app. So that instantly nullifies this argument. Not to mention Marquez Brown Lee. I believe I called the Marquise a second ago. Either way, Marquez isn't attempting to peddle garbage food to children. All he did was make an app that only adults are going to buy as no children are going to be interested in buying a wallpaper app for their phone. So this situation is not comparable at all. And then for KSI to call Dan TDM a dumbass when KSI himself really is the dumbass here is crazy. So now we're a full week since the initial Dan TDM tweet and KSI is so fucking mad at him that he's now calling him names on Twitter and Dan TDM hasn't said anything back. On October 2nd, Kai Sinat would collab with McDonald's and they would drop the chicken Big Mac. And KSI made this tweet, Dan TDM where you at? Something tells me Dan TDM didn't expect his little repost to gain this much traction and for you to lose your fucking nuts over it, I could probably guarantee he fucking deleted that stupid app, which is something you should have done a long time ago. Because at this point on October 2nd, he has now tweeted probably over 20 times about Dan and made multiple YouTube videos, including one on October 14th, which is 12 days after this tweet that I just read out, titled, Dan TDM finally responded. And Spoiler alert, he didn't. Bro was just using Dan's name to get views almost a full month after the first tweet, which is really hilarious because I could have sworn I just saw a clip of him making fun of Pegasus for doing the same exact thing. Finally done. It's over. He's over. <laughs> He's done. <laughs> Finally over. <laughs> I'm still here, brother. <laughs> and he still posted videos on me even though i'm done <laughs> just gotta keep reminding people guys he really is done this time <laughs> his career is over <laughs> i promise please now in my opinion if you disagree with the whole lunchly thing because they're promoting unhealthy food to children you should disagree with the kai Sinat mcdonald's collab as well but that doesn't change the fact that ksi looks like a big old bitch beefing with someone who clearly isn't interested in beefing back only two days later on october 4th ksi would directly tweet at dan tdm Ayo hey, at Dan TDM, why don't you come over to the sidecast? Let's talk this out like men. Nah, bro actually has to stop smoking crack. This is getting ridiculous. Dan TDM said one thing three weeks ago at this point. Bro really had the audacity to say let's talk this out like men when he's the one acting like a bitch on Twitter. The very next day on October 5th, KSI would reply to his own tweet, tweeting at Dan TDM. No reply publicly or privately. It's obviously tweeted this just for likes, interactions, and to be seen as a white knight. And before your stupid minions reply or meme me, you started this. I'm trying to finish it. Bro must be having wet dreams about Dan TDM at night or something. The way he's on Twitter talking about him almost every single day. On October 7th, Dan TDM would post a picture of him with his son. And KSI would respond and say happy for you bro. But this is very obviously just KSI trying to blow up Dan's mentions and be petty because he's mad at him. And honestly, it was a savage post by Dan. KSI is over here sitting in his room, fucking being a keyboard warrior at 31 years old, every single day tweeting about you, blowing up bro's mentions, and he just comes out and posts a picture with his son. Bro literally just came out and dropped his nuts right on KSI's face. And KSI has no idea what to do about it. And this would actually shut KSI up for the most part. But it wouldn't 
can't stop him completely. About a week later, he would reply to this tweet talking about Tom Holland's new non-alcoholic beer company. What happened to actors, man? I can't not say anything anymore. This is selling stuff for the sake of making money. Simple. How does this benefit their fans? This is selling crap to people who don't know better than to trust the people who are selling it to them. Do better. And then down at the bottom, he said, for those of you that don't know, I'm not serious. Just another dig at Dan TDM because I'm petty. Thanks, bro. We had no fucking idea. Bro must think the only ones left watching KSI videos are literally brain dead. We know this tweet is about Dan TDM, bro. It's your fucking 50th one. And at the time of me recording this video, that would actually be his last tweet about Dan. Although KSI has not stopped being annoying as hell on Twitter. With his new song, Thick of It, coming out right around the same time as the Dan beef, bro has made sure to not stop letting us know in between all of his Dan tweets. As a matter of fact, I wouldn't really be surprised if that was his plan all along. Continue to tweet about Dan, knowing it's gonna get impressions, and then in between those tweets, tweet about his garbage fucking song. Because that was the only way he was gonna get a large amount of views on it. And I guess recently his song just hit top 10 on the Billboard charts, and he made sure to let us know. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> thick of it is now my ninth top 10 single. <laughs> so to all the haters, ha ha, womp womp, stay mad. <laughs> Holy shit, watching KSI is actually so painful. I can't stand that guy. I don't hate him personally, but I just think he's so fucking annoying. And that's just the honest truth. I'm not really sure what getting your song on the top 10 really does, other than make your already insanely huge ego bigger, but good for you, I guess. I don't think getting the song on the top 10 changes the fact that it's actually dog shit, and you needed to use Dan TDM's name in order to do it. But KSI obviously doesn't care as he is truly living his best life as a 31 year old man child. But with all that being said boys that right there is where I'm going to end the video and that right there is how Dan